Cameo Magic presents whiteboard explanations. This video will explain digital engineering by breaking down definitions, walking through the purpose and vision, and explaining its significance while providing quick examples. A good example of digital engineering is Google Maps. Google Maps brings together many different aspects of a system including traffic and roadwork, service and goods information, satellite and terrain images, routes and maps, and 3D street view. Google Maps utilizes data from multiple sources, incorporates learning through knowledge sharing from many different users' road data, and provides early identification of schedule risks and rapid analysis of alternatives. For example, in a route with tolls, Google Maps allows the user to optimize schedule and cost. You can pick the toll road route, pay the toll and get to the destination faster, or select the side road alternative for free while sacrificing some time to the destination. Just like other digital engineering efforts, Google Maps has evolved and extended itself further than originally anticipated. It has expanded while remaining sustainable and maintainable into an extremely helpful product. Digital engineering is a common industry buzzword which has several other associated keywords as shown. We will quickly introduce these associated keywords in this video. For more detailed videos on the digital transformation, MBSE, Digital Engineering Environment, Digital Twin, and Digital Thread, please check the links in the description. Here are several definitions of digital engineering from trusted sources. You can pause the video to read them in detail for yourself. We're going to break the definitions down into chunks. There are four major components which are consistent between the definitions. The first includes utilizing computer or digital models rather than paper documents. The second includes sharing data between sources. The third includes capturing all aspects or disciplines of the system of interest. The fourth includes capturing the entire system lifecycle. Let's break these down in more detail one by one. First, digital models versus paper documents. By storing our data in computer models rather than legacy paper documents, we allow ourselves the ability to update something in one location and the change can be propagated everywhere. This reduces the amount of time to update, reduces human errors, and makes traceability much easier. We call this movement from a document-centric approach to model-centric approach to digital transformation. An example of the digital transformation is engineers and architects making the switch from paper and pencil to 3D modeling software such as CATIA, SOLIDWORKS, or CREO. All other disciplines including systems engineering will follow this transformation. Second, these model elements, or digital data, can be shared from one source to another. This means that an electrical engineer using ECAD software could share details about a wiring schematic to a mechanical engineer in his or her respective software. The systems engineer could then capture this data in a software such as Cameo and present high-level metrics to leadership in a streamlined approach. This integration from software to software is analogous to Meta which has multiple apps which all connect and interchange data behind the scenes. The idea is to set up a digital thread which can connect all of the softwares together in an automated fashion. Connecting tools together can be complex as tool vendors often allow their own applications to work well together but often put up walls when allowing connections to competitors' tools. This digital thread is housed in a digital engineering environment. While it would be great if all engineers could subscribe to a single environment, at this time, it is common that each company or organization will maintain their own digital engineering environment. There is complexity when models are delivered from one environment to another because the digital thread is often not exactly the same for each digital engineering environment. Third, digital engineering covers all domains of the system of interest. This includes all of the different engineering disciplines such as aero, mechanical, software, and electrical. Digital engineering pushes for an authoritative source of truth which means that engineers publish their latest and greatest updates to the model. The model is all-encompassing of all aspects of the system and thus becomes the living latest and greatest version of data pertaining to the system of interest. For example, if the fuel tank size is increased then the endurance calculation is modified and the total endurance increases. It likely negatively affects the amount of payload capacity. It may change the center of gravity of the plane enough that it handles differently and needs software updates. All this to say, the change of one mechanical part in the model will propagate to all of the other disciplines. The idea is that the system of interest would be completely modeled in design studies that could be done to optimize which subsystem would be optimal for certain missions. The ability to optimize configuration and perform complex trade studies is another main driver to digital engineering. The model completion of all significant aspects of a system of interest is called a digital twin. The digital twin allows engineers to test the digital system of interest without performing a physical test which has tremendous cost savings. Fourth, digital engineering covers the system of interest throughout the life cycle of the system, from cradle to grave. By designing holistically, we can anticipate and avoid issues. As a review, the purpose of digital engineering is to transform to a more efficient method to store, update, and communicate data between engineers. The vision is to digitally design and model the system of interest completely so that engineers can make optimal decisions before cutting metal. By having a more robust design phase, better decisions can be made to create a better product. The U.S. Air Force has coined the phrase, e-create before you aviate, to advocate for digital engineering. 
Many other organizations, both the Department of Defense and Industry have adopted digital engineering. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our other videos on related topics. Some good other sources to reference include the SE Book of Knowledge or our website at www.cameomagic.com.